You're writing your memoir, congratulations. And now perhaps you're grappling with this challenge of creative expression. How do you as a writer creatively express yourself in your memoir, tell your story, put your own personal stamp on it that makes it purely yours and keep in mind the rules of memoir writing? Is there a balance? Is there a preference? Should actually one take precedence over the other? Or is it entirely up to you as the writer to do as you wish with your memoir? In this video, we're going to look at that question, creative expression versus the rules of memoir. Hello, I'm Brenda, this is Write Your Story, and I do love to help you to write your memoir. Please do subscribe and click on the notification bell if you haven't already, so that you know when I release my next video. So which is it, creative expression or keeping the rules? This video is actually a follow-up from my previous video, the one from last week that I did on one scene. One scene that has to be in your memoir. One scene that actually explains your whole life. So if you haven't seen it yet, do watch it. It's right up here. In that video, I discussed where to place this one scene in your memoir that has to be in your memoir. And I gave two options. After I gave my two options, I then said, your scene will know where it needs to be in your memoir as you write your memoir, which is why I always encourage you to trust the process. So what does it mean to trust the process? Am I saying don't worry about the rules? Am I saying as a creative writer, you have carte blanche to go ahead and do what you like, as you like, and to be completely creative on the page and not to worry about anything else. It's all totally intuitive. But before I get to the answer, let's look at the benefits and the dangers of both. If you go the creative expression approach where you as the writer feel that all you have to do is step into the process, it will take you where it needs to be. You will be completely able to write this memoir and you have complete license to do what you like as you like and not to worry too much about the rules because it's you as a creative doing what's important to you you will find that the benefit is you will actually have the confidence to approach your work, to step into it and to get going. For me, that seemed far too daunting when I wrote my memoir. I like structure, it's part of who I am. And I've actually had to engage the creative aspect of myself and my writing a whole lot more. And so I found that when it came to writing my memoir, I felt overwhelmed. I didn't really know how to get started. And I remember a conversation I had with a friend who one day asked me, how's it coming along with writing your memoir, writing your book? And I said, I haven't started. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to get going. I don't know what the traction is. I feel overwhelmed. I just haven't got there. And she looked at me and she said, it's easy. There is a formula, there are rules. You just get to know what the rules are. You follow them and you'll write your book. And when she said that to me, I thought, oh, okay, that's a good idea. Maybe I should just learn what the rules are of memoir and that will help me to know that I can actually do this. I can write this book. So which camp are you in? Are you in the creative expression camp where you just feel, I just jump in the boat and off I go. This is my story, my book, I'm doing it my way. Or are you the one who needs the rules, understanding the rules and works within the rules to actually get started and to gain traction? Whichever camp it is, it doesn't really matter so long as it gets you started, as long as the benefit of that approach actually gets you going. Because that's the biggest thing we all need as writers is to get going, to start getting our memoir on the page, to gain traction and to keep up that momentum consistently. That's how we get our memoirs written. Now there are dangers to both approaches. The creative expression approach, if that's yours, the danger is you're gonna jump in your boat, you're gonna go down the river, you're gonna write your memoir, and you're gonna find you've missed the mark on a number of levels. You've perhaps sidetracked yourself, you've included scenes, you've included stories that don't need to be there. Your theme is a mix and a mash of a number of things. It's jumbled together, it's got into a tight knot, and now you actually don't have a story. You just have a recollection of memories and it's not going anywhere. 
anywhere. It's not serving a strong purpose. It doesn't have a strong storyline. It doesn't have some of the elements you need in order to write a compelling story. If you stick to the rule keeping, there is another danger here that you need to be aware of. I'm going to illustrate it by telling you my experience of reading somebody's work. I have a book on my bookshelf of a writer who is well known. She writes fiction, not memoir, not nonfiction. And she's got many, many books published. And so I bought her book on how to write. And I actually enjoyed a book on how to write and how to be a writer and the things you need to know about writing and what she explained about her writing process. And there were things I gleaned from it and I found it to be good. So I thought I would read one of her books. I got one of her stories, her novels, and I started to read it. And I was aghast at how formulaic it was, how it lacked heart, it lacked soul. The characters were one dimensional. It was just a cookie cutter story. Here are the rules for this genre. You just fit your characters in, you fit your activities in, and you just make them do what you want them to do for a one dimensional story where the characters are puppets. There was just no depth to it and fiction can have depth. This had zero. I shut the book and I said, that's it. That just does not work. And that taught me that just knowing the rules, keeping the rules and applying the rules your book, your story, and in particular, your memoir will lack depth, it will lack substance, it will lack heart, it will lack soul. And when we write memoir and when we read a memoir, we are looking for that depth, heart, and soul. And the way to find that is to bridge the gap and to go to creative expression as a writer and to start to tell your story first to yourself and to understand that you don't actually fully grasp your whole life anyway. You don't fully understand all the complexities of what has happened in your life and all the threads that have come together. You've experienced it, you've lived it, but it has a depth to it that you mine when you actually write your memoir. And that is what you're looking for when you bridge the gap from the rules to creative expression and the reverse works too if you do creative expression and you don't even intuitively know and understand the rules of writing memoir the rules of writing stories you are going to miss the mark and all your effort is going to be for really nothing except your own recollection of your stories you need to apply the rules of memoir writing. You've got to understand how they work and how they actually come together. It's like learning to dance. If you know that there's all these dance steps and you, you get to practice them and you know them, then when the music comes on, you put all those dance steps together in a certain way that expresses who you are as a dancer. And then off you go with your own style as a dancer. But you need to know what these steps are in order to really dance well. It's the same with writing. When you know what the rules are, you understand that there are those rules, you apply them to your writing as you write and you create your own style. You create your own voice, you create your own creative expression and it has form. And then of course, as you've heard me say many times, trust the process of where your memoir is going, what story wants to be told, what stories may unearth as you're writing them so that you can have that fabric, that heart, that depth, that soul in your memoir, which makes it so uniquely yours. If you haven't yet got my seven key ingredients to writing a great memoir, which covers seven elements you need to have in your memoir, then do look in the links below and get a copy. I also have a free one video course on how to determine the premise of your memoir. So rules are important and so is creative expression. Thank you for following along. I look forward to seeing you in my next video as we go on a journey. I'll see you in that video.